So today I'm going to be showing you how I transformed this modern day Barbie into a vintage inspired one from the uh, 1960s. So I got this Barbie from a thrift store. I got it in a pack of I think five Barbies for $5.99 so it was a great deal. Um, and I started by just cleaning her, washing her hair, conditioning her hair, and then here I am um, kind of struggling to get it into the swirl ponytail style. The hair definitely took a lot of adjusting and readjusting um, before I got it to how I was happy. And I used the boiling water technique to mold the hair and get it to hold its shape. Here I am using acetone, I actually just used nail polish remover to remove the features. I was kind of curious to see how this goes because this is my first time doing this with a Barbie, um, but it actually worked really well and I was able to remove all of the uh, facial features without much residue left over. Then I just started painting. Uh, so I used a reference image of the squirrel pony Barbie that I was using as inspiration and you know this Barbie obviously had a different face structure because of the fact that this Barbie was from um, somewhere in the 2010s whereas World Ponytail Barbie was uh, much older so it wasn't going to be perfect and I knew that kind of going into it I was more so looking to have an inspired look so yes I just worked with what I could some polymer clay to do the eyelashes since the old Barbies had those dimensional lashes and I think this really helped add to the effect. I was quite happy with how that looked. Then I used an old Barbie swimsuit that I had to um, draft a pattern for her vintage swimwear. So it was a loose pattern but just kind of helped me out a bit with the shape and then I worked from there to make the swimsuit that was a little bit more accurate. Finally, I used these little pearl beads um, as earrings. I just hot glued them and um, that was pretty much it. And then Barbie was all done. I'm pretty happy with how she turned out. You know, she's certainly not <laughs> convincing anyone that she's a vintage Barbie, but I think she looks really cute and it was a fun little transformation. Sorry, my camera is totally out of focus. <laughs> um, but yes, I think she turned out quite cute and uh, I'm excited to do some more Barbie crafts and transformations ahead of the movie.